In this lesson, we're going to cover how to conditionally format an entire row of data within your data set in Google Sheets. So you can see here we have a data set of orders, and we have a column for order number, order date, product ID, and order amount. And what we'd like to do is conditionally format our data set here to highlight any row that has an order date greater than July 10th. So the first thing I want to do is go up to the format ribbon and towards the bottom there's an option called conditional formatting. To the right here we'll get a rules box that appears. So the first input is the range we want this to apply to. Well we want to begin in beginning in cell A2 because that's where our data begins and go all the way to column D and we want to make this infinite so I'm just going to input A2 to column D all the way down. Now you can see when I click out of that all of the rows get highlighted right now because down here in our second format rules box it is set to is not empty and all of these cells are not empty. What we want to do is come down to the very last option here for custom formula. Below that is where we'll actually input our formula. So our formula is going to be anything in column B that has a date greater than July 10th. So when you're inputting your criteria column and you want to conditionally format the entire row, you absolutely must lock that criteria column. So we need to begin that with a dollar sign because that says your column reference is locked. It will always point to this column. So we want to begin in B2 and then go all the way down to infinite column B. And we want anything in that column where the date is greater than July 10th. Now, when you're dealing with dates in the conditional formatting in Google Sheets, you have to nest that in the date function. That's how it recognizes it as a date. So the date function has three inputs, a year input, a month input, and a day input. So we begin with the year input of 2021, then our month input, and then our day input which is July 10th. So you can see when I do that it highlights only the rows where the date value is greater than July 10th. Now the default shading here is that green. We can change that if we want to a different color. We can also do other formatting options like bold, underline, italic. You can change the font color. So now what if we had a second criteria? Maybe we wanted to see anything where both the date is greater than July 10th and the order amount in column D is greater than $50. So we can add a second condition in this formula box um, it is a little bit tiny and hard to see, so what I'm going to do is come out of this for a second and paste what we've already created here. Hit F2 to go into it. So there is our original formula condition. So what we want to do is, in order to add a second condition, we need to nest the first within parentheses. In between our two conditions, we're going to add a star because when you're dealing with conditional formatting, this serves as essentially the word and. So we have this condition and our second. Our second condition will be nested within parentheses. And this time we're looking at column D. So again, we need to begin with dollar signs because we always want to point to column D as our criteria column. 
for our second criteria. And we want anything that is greater than $50. So I'm going to copy all of this, click back anywhere in our data set, go back up to format and conditional formatting. I'm going to click in what we've already created. And down here in our formula, I'm just going to delete out what was there and paste in what we just created. And you can see now we have two criteria that are being met with our formatting. It only displays or highlights, I should say, the rows where the order date is greater than July 10th and the order amount is greater than $50. So that is how you can conditionally format an entire row in Google Sheets. Hey, if you like what you saw today, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.